Hello students. We are going to study the critical term or concept that is relevant when we study the American literature, American literary movements and the landmark features that come up during the modern age in America. We have Broadway and off Broadway theater. Broadway is simply known as Broadway. It refers to the theatrical performances presented in 41 professional theaters. And these professional theaters were spread over this district, this particular part called Broadway with 500 or more seats if a theater consists of 500 or hundreds of seats which was located in a theater district and Lincoln Center along the Broadway in Midtown Manhattan New York City so it's a square it's a plus it's a district in New York Midtown Manhattan New York City so Broadway and we have parallel in the London's West End together both represents the highest commercial level of live theater in English speaking world and that we see is the concept it is as per the location of the things see while thoroughfare itself is eponymous with the district it's a broadway district or theater district means the name itself reflected in the name of the district and it has 41 theaters it's a collection of 41 theaters they are identified with the Times Square only four of the theaters are located in the Broadway itself and these theaters are the Palace Theater Minskov Theater Winter Green Theater uh, Winter Garden Theater the rest are located on the number cross settings extended from the Nederlander theater. One block of the south of Times Square, 41st Street, not along the other side of the Broadway, to 53rd Street, as well as Vivian Bermont. Beaumont Theatre at Lincoln Center, the west of 65th Street. Exceptions exist to the Broadway Theatre is generally reserved for the venues of sitting capacity of at least 500 people. Smaller, of course, smaller theatres are also referred to as off Broadway theatres, and these smaller are regardless of their location are small theatres with 100 or less than 100 sitting capacity of the people. So this term, both terms are, are, are inverted to be studied as per the location of the theatre. So off-Broadway theatre usually playing low budget small theaters their their charges or the rates of the theaters are uh, lower quite lower in comparison to broadway theater they are often tended to be freer in their style more imaginative than those of broadway of broadway theaters have where high costs Oblige them to produce in the Broadway theater, but half of Broadway theaters are um, used 
to make a safe attractions for serious and experimental uh, drama the lower caste are permitted to be lenient union regulations governing minimum wages number of personnel or number of staff involved in the work are quite less designations of broadway and off broadway referred not so much to the location of the theater as it as its to sides scale of production most broadway theaters are not located on the broadway itself but on the streets adjacent to it some of broadway theaters are also within the broadway theater district although some of them are remote they are remote in the mid town like manhattan city of broadway theater enjoyed the surge in the quality as well as in the production of the theater an importance uh, it got importance after 1950 and with the success of the director the theater director jose quintero who produced um, in the circle in the square theater in greenwich village the two decades proved the remarkable vitality in the theater production of broadway theater introduced many important theatrical talents and given scope to new uh, practitioners like uh, director joseph pap whose later productions included free performances of shakespeare's central park the public uh, furthermore uh, it helped him to form public theater multi theater complex and these multi theater or um, multi theater public theater proved very useful for the experiments or experimental works and these experimental works were proved very great in the next coming years and there were prize winning productions that took plus namely edward alby charles godon arthur miller paul zindel sam shafard lanford wilson john guare were the first produced of the broadway theaters and along with the european avant garde dramatist they also tried their hand to produce the avant garde american theater works eugene yarosko hugo patti jean zenet samuel bikit harold pinter these are uh, most of them are absurd dramatist they tried their hand to this theater of broadway theater या रायटरनी ऑफ ब्रॉडवे थिएटरमध्ये आपली प्रायोगिक नाटकं दाखवून आपलं नाव निर्माण करण्याचा प्रयत्न आपल्या करिअर निर्माण करण्याचा प्रयत्न आपल्याला केलेला पाहायला मिळतो स्मॉल थिएटर ह्या स्मॉल थिएटरमध्ये अनेक नवीन परफॉर्मर्स जी होती ॲक्टर्स असतील कॉस्ट्युमर्स असतील लाईटनिंग अरेंजमेंट असतील लाईट अरेंजमेंट असतील किंवा सेट डिझायनिंग असतो त्यांना नवीन पद्धतीचं ट्रेनिंग या ऑफ ब्रॉडवे जे स्मॉल थिएटर्स होती त्यांच्या माध्यमातून मिळत असतो सो लाईक ब्रॉडवे ऑर ऑफ ब्रॉडवे थिएटर ते बिगॅन टू सफर विथ द सोअरिंग कॉस्ट बिकॉज इट्स बिकम्स व्हेरी कॉस्टली टू प्रोड्यूस दिस साऊंड्स अँड इट इज अनमॅनेजेबल टू to have this so with the emergence of the early 1960s less expensive and more daring productions started to come up and most successful of these included the negro ensemble company la mama experimental theater company open theaters manhattan theater clubs roundabout so like this the most of the productions 
were seen in such a way. The theatre district is popular, became popular for, as a tourist attraction in the New York City. According to Broadway League, recently we have seen the total attendance were 14 crore 76 lakh 8200 more than 200 means 14 crore more than or near about 15 crore tourists attended the Broadway and off Broadway plus for the tourism most of the Broadway shows are now these days are musical performances. Historian Martin Schaeffer argued that Broadway musicals has produced in such a culmination, highest development culmination, Richard Rogers, Oscar Hammerstein became enormously influential forms of American popular culture. And this has become the cultural capital of the world. The current definition of the Broadway theatre is based on 1949. Actors' equity arrangement dividing Broadway and off-Broadway theatre. These theatrical houses which host the productions can be nominated for Tony Awards, the American theatre being and Broadway League as presenters of these awards and it is to the discretion of these Tony eligible houses to set the standards and give the awards to the actors. So these Broadway and off-Broadway theatres are like this, has the capacity, has the capacity of over 500 seats produces mostly the legitimate theater productions is generally within the Manhattan theater district Vivian Be uh, Beaumont theater is an exception it is far um, away it's a remote rather remote one this Broadway is an under equity is a production it has become now the tourist plus and more than 14 crore people visited in 1920 uh, uh, 1990 to 20 and it is run by the actors equity board it is the non uh, say non-profit basis the theatre is being run so with these words the Broadway and off-Broadway theatre needs to be studied for the better organization of this you can go into the Arthur Miller's which is also the death of Salzman that we are going to study in our prescribed syllabus is the production and was performed on the Broadway theatre. So, with these words, I hope you will get the concept. For more detail, you can search on the, you can Google on the internet. So, you will get most out of this particular term. So, you won't find any uh, literary material that is available in English or any reference books but the internet is the only source for the Broadway and off Broadway theatre. For more details you can also log in to show the Ganga and there you will find the concept related to the Broadway and off Broadway theatre. Thank you.